You've got your Hick Vision, you've got your Dehua, and you've got your Uniview. And then you've got below, you've got your High Look, you've got your Easy IP, you've got your Easy Viz. So you're talking your, your lower range, and then you've got your high range. I'd say it's got more features than, than the lower range stuff, but it's, it's not touching up to your higher end kit. So it, again, my opinion, I'd say it's sitting in between. I've got a new product that I've been testing, which is made by TP-Link. Some of you may recognize TP-Link because they are big in switches, they've been around for a very long time, picking network switches, ports, all that kind of accessories. So I've been kindly given a product to test, which I've got their four channel MVR. I've got a couple of cameras, I've got a four megapixel and an eight megapixel. So I'll go through the bits and pieces, features, benefits on, on them, and then I'll show you a bit of recording from them and also the GUI, also what my thoughts are on it. So I've got here, which is the four channel MVR. Now, what I do like about this is the size of it. It looks just like a network switch. Any, you know, if anyone didn't know what it was and they, and they, and they had to read what it is, you'd think that's just a standard network switch. So size of it is nice and compact. The other thing I've realized before I took the lid off is that it doesn't have a fan anywhere. So I looked into this a bit further and it shows that TP-Link are using a low power chipset on the board. So that doesn't generate a lot of heat. Hence why it doesn't need a fan to keep it cool. It's got enough passive cooling vents around the side. So it's got side side and also on the bottom where the hard drive would go. Again, hard drive wise, depending on the type of hard drive you're using, it does take SATA, there's no problem. However, that could slightly mean a push going more towards your SSDs, which again, probably give off a lot less heat. But like standard, it does fit a uh, normal SATA drive. If I do take off the lid, you can have a look on the inside. So we've got the board here. It does have a feature which, this is a four channel unit. So we've got your standard ports, LAN port, HDMI. Also gives a VGA, I've noticed on a lot of the budget style NVRs, they're doing away with the VGA. Surprised to see it on a unit like this. Like if when I say budget style, let's go with your high looks or your easy IPs or even on like easy biz kind of stuff. You don't tend to see a VGA port on there. Whether they will continue with that further. You've got your HDMI, then you've got an audio in and an audio out way that the hard drive connects, you don't have any cables, you'd literally just slot it on and screw it from the bottom. So that's nice, compact. That's the four channel NVR. They do an eight and a 16, which are obviously bigger in size, but I've got the four channel here that I've been testing. So the cameras themselves, not bad looking, quite solid, quite easy to put on. It's just got one grub screw here, which I find is a lot easier there. Personal, now this is again, this is only personal preference. I like it where you don't have any screws on here. They either clip on, because remember these are gonna be a bit out of the way. No one's just gonna be able to go and grab them, their hands and, and turn them around. If, if there is something like that, you'd put in like a vandal resistant style camera. So it's got a simple grub screw there. It's also got two screws on here where you can pop in a micro SD card so you can record locally onto the camera. And it's got a reset button here as well full color with white lights it's got audio as standard and it's got a speaker which i couldn't see where the speaker was but it has unless it's around the back but it has got i have to see where the speaker is but it's got it's got speaker on as well so two-way audio as standard full color infrared lighting full color i'll just say is with the white lighting activated this one is four megapixel and then i've also got an eight megapixel of the and i will i think it's the eight megapixel one i use Used outside it is quite feature rich so if I was to go on to the app when I say feature rich it's got a lot of smart detection so I'll just go through the number of ones that it's got it's got your human detection vehicle detection motion detection camera tampering scene change it's got line crossing it's got intrusion detection loitering detection region entering region exiting object abandoned rem remove and also sound detection so it's got quite a lot of features in the system itself and it's got your active defense so if i was to activate the lights and stuff finding the sound is a bit bassier than some of the other ones 
So I have found you can adjust the alarm sound and what I had it on before was the loudest, which I think wasn't loud enough for my liking. You can also adjust the microphone and speaker volume on here. Let me just go back to the active defense and just show you. So that's the loudest. Personally, I think it needs to be a bit louder than that. Some of the other manufacturers, some of the, some of the, the sounds is a bit loud. It gives you a bit of a jolt when we've had people on the courses and, and it's gone off. It, it doesn't give you a jolt. It just gives you more of an alert, I would say. Uh, a jolt you, when you come to you go, wow, oh, what's that? This is more just alert. We've detected you kind of thing. We've detected you not. Get out of here kind of thing. You understand what I mean? As I said, it has two-way audio. Talk from the your mobile phone back to the camera, vice versa. So there's not much more else I can talk about a camera. It's gonna give you an image. It's gonna give you these extra features. So now we'll have a look at some of the footage, both from the GUI and also from the camera itself. So the GUI itself is quite clean, nice looking. It's, I can't really complain anything about it. You've got all your standard settings, just like you've got on most NVRs, setting up the network event, recording, the cloud, all that stuff is all pretty much standard it's got a few other extra features we can upgrade the firmware over the cloud so there's no requirement to download onto a usb stick etc so you can do that for the cameras so let's see if i was to populate into the cameras and go here i've just done a firmware upgrade on them but if you were to see here look i'll click it can click online upgrade and it'll go away if it's connected to the net and then it'll upgrade the cameras the latest firmware everything else is pretty much standard but i can do there uh, you've got how much poe power it's taking but i do like do like how it's just nice clean fresh looking gooey just go through show you a bit of the extra bits and pieces that are on here got no pan and tilt cameras on here at the moment that's why there's nothing showing what else have we got here storage options for audio hard drive management the smart detection export files if you wanted to have some external storage or hard drive backup i think it's got the features but because this is just a four channel unit it's you're not going to be using any any of this stuff on there but apart from that, like I said, nice, simple, clean. Oh, it's one click networking. Ah, uh, yes. Nice, simple, clean graphic user interface. Here's some nighttime footage showing the cameras at nighttime. You can see the time, it's gone past 11 o'clock. And I've got the white light on. So it's showing you color at nighttime with the white light. Then I switch the lights off and then it goes into the infrared lighting. So it shows you black and white with infrared. And then the last one, I'm just showing you where it's completely dark. Now, there's no reason for that. It's, it's just gonna be dark because it, they don't use an AI chipset. You wouldn't expect it to show much detail with it being completely dark and having no external lighting. So what is my opinion and remember when i say this is only my opinion i like it so it comes with a five-year warranty which i thought was quite good we did used to see five-year warranty going back probably about 10 years ago and then that slowly started dropping down to three years and two years so i think for them to come out into the market they want to they've got to have they've got to have something to attract you to it like now they've got quite a lot of features on there also they're coming out with a five-year warranty pricing is very competitive where do i see it fitting with everything else in the market at the moment so if we're gonna just stick to let's say the far east suppliers so we've got your hick vision you've got your dahua and you've got your uniview and then you've got below you've got your high look you've got your easy ip you've got your easy vids so you're talking your your lower range and then you've got your high range i'd say it's got more features than, than the lower range stuff, but it's, it's not touching up to your higher end kit. So it's, again, my opinion, I'd say it's sitting in between. So it's giving installers another option for customers rather than, let's say, the specking something out which doesn't need to go into a domestic property. You're not gonna put a fully fledged MVR with all the features that that comes with that price point as well but then when you're coming down to your more budget end range it sometimes doesn't have the features that you need where would i see it installed 
domestic, no shears at all, light commercial, small retail, with the features, price, competitive, warranty is there, and it's not available to go and pick up the Vigi range that you'll see is coming through distribution. There are, they do other products, which is a consumer range, which I've seen, there's one called Tapo, which I picked up myself, but not CCTV, it was more your smart products, and that was from somewhere like Costco. So this is being sold through the distribution. So I'll just cover what we've got in the TP-Link feature-wise. So you've got a whole host of different smart detections of that I reeled off before. Two-way audio is standard. You've got your app, which works just like all the other brands out there. We've got OnVIF, so we can populate it with other brand cameras, if not just your TP-Link stuff. You've got your 4, 8, 16 channel unit, 4 channel, which I told you before, nice and compact. We've got the ability to go up to a 10 terabyte hard drive in the unit. On the cameras themselves, we've got full color with white lighting. You do have the option on the white lighting as well to drop it down, adjust the tone, either have infrared, switch the lights on all the time, switch the lights on off, have it with only an active defense. So you can sit there and you can program it how you want it. That's the TP-Link Vigi. It is available through distribution. I have to thank Mass Digital because they're the ones who supply me the product for testing. They do, as I did see in the comments before, I think there is a demo kit available at a reduced price. Can't, don't quote me, but I think it includes two cameras, which is four megapixel and an eight megapixel turret full color, and also the four channel MVR. So it is something that you will need to try, test it out and see if you like it for yourself.